I'm Michael Burson with Show Me Progress, and I'm speaking with Randy Huggins from Leeton, Missouri. Randy, could you tell us about your grandson's, quote, pre-existing condition and the impact of not having insurance? Uh, yes. Uh, my grandson was born in December of 2004, and uh, all of the prenatal care was taken care of under my daughter's health care insurance. And then when they determined that he had um, congenital heart defects, the insurance company denied coverage, saying that his policy didn't start until he was born, and so this was a pre-existing condition. And so what happened uh, from that point uh, with his uh, care for his heart condition? Um, he was... Uh, seen at Children's Mercy Hospital and was treated at Children's Mercy Hospital um, and charities paid for it for the most part. In 2009, uh, you attended a town hall by then candidate Vicki Hartzler and you uh, related your health care story. What was her response? Uh, her basic response was um, that someone in the community should bring our family a hot meal. Um, I think that's a kind of a slap in the face that um, she would suggest that the church bring somebody a family, somebody's family a hot meal, um, it's usually something that's saved for a funeral. How has the Affordable Care Act changed things for your grandson? Uh, my grandson had a second open heart surgery in March of this year, and because of the Affordable Care Act, it was covered under his mother's health insurance. What does repeal of the Affordable Care Act and Representative Vicki Hartzler's vote to repeal it mean to you and your family? It uh, means financial insecurity for all of us. Um, without having health insurance, you know you're going to have something come up. So basically we would have to set everything aside and save for any health issues that would, would come up in the future. Uh, but at the same time, uh, would saving cover everything? I seriously doubt that we'd be able to save that much. Uh, um, and, and how would that affect your uh, grandson's future? Well, he would never be able to get any health insurance. Um, because of the pre-existing condition with his heart, even if, when he is 18 to buy his own policy, he wouldn't be able to get a policy. Uh, he would never have any kind of financial security. Uh, and so the, uh, the Affordable Care Act um, means that your grandson has a possibility of a future. He, he has a possibility of, of a piece of the American dream. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.